Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at every single Jayco J Flight SLX that we have in stock, and we will be reviewing that one. <laughs> that one. These are the Jayco J Flight SLX models 154 BH all the way up to 195 RB. We are doing things a little different today. We're going to walk in and out of each of these first, all the different floor plans, and then we will be reviewing this one, giving you three things we love about it and three things we don't like about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Will's RV Reviews Tobles, the world's only channel, giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler that we review. And again today, I am super excited. This is the biggest and the smallest RV review ever. Right. We're taking, it's so big because we're looking at so many units and so small because they are so small units. But before, I, before we show it to me, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will. Hey guys. How's it going? It's going good. So. Yeah, I'm excited to try this new concept a little bit. So basically the reason we're doing it is because each of these are so small. Yep. That rather than doing like a 10, 15 minute video on each of them, we figured hit all of them. If you're kind of interested in one, you might be interested in some of the others. Yeah, exactly. And it's all combined into one. Yep. And then, um, you know, just not having to go into every little detail when they're all gonna be the same. Yeah, exactly. And here's what we will do, Will. When it comes to our likes and dislikes, so the one we're reviewing is the 195. Uh huh. We don't, it, our likes and dislikes don't need to be specific to that okay. one. We can say like, I like what they're doing in the 174 with this. I don't like what they're doing with the 184 with that. You know what I'm Makes saying? Makes sense. So this first one's the 154. Smallest to largest is how we're doing it, right? Uh, no. Oh, Just, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Okay just in order yep so we're just gonna let will walk around just tell us what you see all right so you've got a dinette here that turns into the bed the, bed, the yep. main bed you got bunks right here small little bathroom back here and the kitchen right let me get back up a little bit yep the kitchen right here now I know we're not doing like likes and dislikes, but something I really like is they put the AC in it right there rather than it, because it, it is a smaller trailer. Oh, that's funny, because I actually don't like that. Oh, you don't? <laughs> no, because that's the uh, cheaper air conditioning unit rather than the uh, true the roof mount. Yeah, but, but I could see myself hitting my head. True, somebody being taller. Yep. Yeah. Um, you, you know, this is this is the smallest one. This one's going to be the best price. And just so everybody knows, when you click our link down below to General RV. It's going to show you every J Flight SLX that we have in stock. Cool. So that's the 154. Here's the 184 BS. A little bit bigger. Yeah. They don't take no BS on this floor plan. <laughs> Hang on a second. What's Look that? at this door. Is that door more narrow? It might be. Look at that. Can you see it or no? Yeah, it might be. I don't know. They were both kind of tight. Yeah, go on in. Oh. All right. So this one has a real bed up front. Right there. Same AC setup. Slide out. Dinette. Yep, on the slide up. Turns into a bed. Double bunks here. Bathroom right here. Similar setup with the bathroom. Kind of small. Toilet right there. Shower. Let me open this for you guys. So you can see shower with a little tub. Oh, this one also has bunk beds. Yes. Little pantry, and then here's kind of a good view of the kitchen area right there. It's a small fridge down below. Bro, 100%, this doorway's smaller. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, can you tell? Look at this. Yeah. I cannot walk in this way. Right. Look at that. It's weird how narrow it is. That's so weird. Like literally, Will walk on out. Well, like Will sideways. has to go sideways. Yeah, even that's tight. <laughs> that's the 184 BS. That's so weird. I could tell visually that it was different. Only BS about it is the door. 
This is a 174 BH. Same okay. Thing. Narrow door. Yeah. Here, I got this one. Okay. Look at this. This is so unique. Okay, no slide out in this one. This one also has bunk beds and um, east-west bed, not walk aroundable. No slide out, small dinette. I actually don't mind the small dinette that much because it does make it a little bit more spacious. The bunk beds right there. And they, oh good, they didn't put the sink in there. Yeah, they haven't been in the others either. Good, good, good. They're what a relief it is. I've never seen a smaller door. All right. And we didn't get fatter from the last video. Or maybe we did. Yeah, we haven't had lunch yet, so. Yeah, right? It's another couple more 174s. Yep, and this is a 183RV. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, so there's a slide out on this one. Okay. So you do have a north south bed. And this one right there. This door is a little bit wider, I feel. I think a little bit, yeah. And then you have a dinette on a slide right there. Seems like it's getting a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. You're going to have a nice big rear bathroom in this one. Yep. I can't Do, believe there's walk around space. I, I know. Bet. And then here's that bathroom back here. Wow. Sh another shower with a tub. Oh, it's a shower tub? Yep. Mm. Toilet right there, and the sink, and like a little closet space right there. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. All right, and the final one's the 195. Okay. Well, let's begin up front. All right. And before we do, let us know, guys, if you like that. Right? Like, yeah, we could do that with more with of the, the smaller like the stuff. And yeah. The Avengers and everything. Let's right. go. Model is Jayco J Flight SLX, model 195RB. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 21 feet 10 inches. The dry weight is 2,990 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 270 pounds. Perfect. Always remember use weight distribution bars. If you guys can't tell, all these SLXs, they're all single axles. They're all thinner, they're all lighter weight, and they're all kind of made to be like under 3,500 pounds to the yep. whole goal. Manual tongue jack here, single propane tank, and your batteries go there. And, and again, we'll, we're gonna use words like cheap and cheap. Um, and it's not cheap, it's made to be light and compact. And quality equals weight, so you know what I'm saying? Uh, it is uh, aluminum corrugated sides with wood framing. Here's nice. It is prepped for the Furion 360 degrees cameras. Yeah, that's cool. You know, a lot of entry level stuff isn't putting this on, but I like it because I feel like an entry level camper needs this more than an experienced camper. Right. So I do like that feature. Right underneath here, we do have some storage. Very nice. I like how it's held up by a magnet. Yeah. So many times again. Again, that's a... Yep. Say it. No, that's just like price point thing. Yep. At this price point, they don't usually do. Yep. Nice. Coming on down the side here, because it is Jayco, you do get that two-year warranty from Jayco, three-year structural. Um, <coughs> do you have a power awning with LED lights? Let's take a look at it when it's all the way out. All right. Great. Nice power awning with LED lights. And again, I was thinking about something when the awning was coming out. Well, this is for the person who doesn't want the pop-up. Right. Who doesn't want a tent, you know what I'm saying? Right. Look at this tire, Will. It's the Goodyear Endurance tire. I love that. ST205-75R14. And I really love how they still use the Goodyear tires. So do I, yeah. On entry-level unit, you know? Um, J-Flight, number one since 05. But again, this isn't to be confused with the J-Flight. It is a J-Flight SLX. Okay. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Still flexing, still flexing. Uh, no backup camera prep, which is very weird. Yeah, that is. Especially because it has the, the side. side camera. Yeah. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Um, none of them have yeah, it either. None of them have it. Yeah, very weird. And all no right. ladder. 
No ladder to get up on the roof, understandable. And uh, yeah, nice. Finishing up. Great place to dump your black and gray tank. City water connection, low point valves, everything. Your water heater's right here. 30 amp power cord. This is like the little storage spot for it. Cable, everything. And then right up here, Will, potable water filter. Did you say where to dump? I think you did. Yeah, okay. yeah it's right there. Don't mess up my potables again. Sorry. Don't, Will, what is that? Potable. Potable. <laughs> <laughs> well, Will, the outside of this little chow chow looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. All right. I guess we'll start back here with the, this is a bathroom. Yep. Bathroom right here. Yep. Kitchen right here, dining area, and the bed up here. You want to start up here? Cool. Oh man. What? We gotta put the stabilizing jacks oh, I down. Know. We're rocking this thing. Okay, up front here in the bedroom area. Surprisingly, super. Oh, whoa! That scared it's just me. The wind. Surprisingly, super spacious in here. Right. Um, I don't feel like I'm compacted in. We have storage there. I love the storage above there, Something and then storage here. there. What's funny is we were in. It was the Jayco Eagle. And the beds had no countertop next right. to it. And now we're in this, which is super narrow, and they still managed to put a queen bed with countertops on both sides. Yeah. Very nice feature. No, no cubbies, huh, but it's okay, because there is power, good place to charge your phone and everything. Nice Serta mattress right. as well. Is it comfy yeah. for an RV? Yeah. Wow, very big and nice storage right there as this well. Rough. Yeah. A couple of big boys in here, Will. Yeah. Okay. Right over here, I'm getting ready to go. I know. <laughs> we got the cabinetry right there. Here's your sound system. Nice little window. Skinny dinette. But look at this, dude. This is Fat Boy approved. That's right. Look how much space I got between my thighs. You know what I'm saying? And like you that, can actually raise it up a little bit more. Really? I think so, because it's got like an adjustment thing. Oh, well, you could. That's a nice feature. You know, this does drop down and you can make like a little single bed, but... Maybe for like a toddler. Yeah, this this isn't for that. No. Well, well, you know what time it is? It's, it's now time, time for the MSRP. MSRP. And the MSRP, obviously the smaller ones, the price is gonna go down. For sure, yeah. With a slide out, the price is gonna go up. Right. But it's they're all going to be so close to the same. And this one being one of the more expensive ones, you ready for this? Yep. MSRP on this unit here is $22,051 MSRP. Do you know what that means, Will? Yeah. It's... Prices are gonna be in the teens. Exactly. As it's you guys can see price. there, we don't currently have a sale price, not a big deal. But Will, if somebody wanted to get a sale price, tell everybody what they need to do. Well, one, we only sell Jayco's here in Wixom. That's right. But if somebody wanted to travel up to Wixom to get the best price on one of these, tell everybody what they should do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV. Somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions about this RV, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends an email to both Will and myself. We will get back to you ASAP as soon as we can. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one. There's one thing that every tab will have in common. They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Will, let's continue the video. All right. And before we do, I thought of something. What's that? What we're going to do is... And people are watching this, so they don't know that we just came up with this idea. Uh huh. Every model number, we were we had the MSRP in the corner. Oh, okay. So yeah, there you go. Cool. But you guys don't know that. Well, you didn't know that we didn't know that. Right. All right. So um, here's that AC unit, kind of in the kitchen area. Got a little bit of storage up top here. Yes, sir. 
And then a high point microwave here. This looks like it's not a convection. Okay. Even though there's no oven. Okay, okay. Uh, a nice range hood here. Hood range. With lights. Yes, sir. No backsplash or anything. No problem. Um, two burner suburban cooktop right here. Yep. Nice little faucet. Decent bowl or decent sink bowl for uh, the size RV it is. Yep, yep. And what I love is that they actually still made sure to get you some good counter space. Yes, sir. And then you got a little fridge right there. They've been putting these little fridges in all of them, right? Yes, they have. Dale, cool. And then a little bit of storage right there. What's really awesome, though, is they still give you a pantry right pretty here. Pretty decent pantry space. Yep. Not a lot of fridge space, but pretty decent pantry space. That's right. And, well, you even got some more storage behind you there. Right. Uh, like a closet. Holy uh, smokes. Yep. That's huge, actually. It is. I actually wish they put on um, some shelving in that, to I be honest too, with you. I do too, actually. All right. All right, shower test, Will. Let me pick this up so I don't step on it. It's now time for the shower test. And all of them were doing the shower tub, right? They were. They're probably all the same as this. Yeah. <laughs> what I will say is it's not as bad as I was expecting. I mean, I can't pass it, but... Right. It's not as bad as I was expecting. <laughs> okay. Come on and, out and there. And there's no surround. Like what is yeah. that? that no, a lot sense. of them do that. Really? I remember the Wildwoods did that and everything, and it Why doesn't make sense. Why do they do sense. that? Isn't it cause I, I issues? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> get up here. You guys don't feel the earthquake, <laughs> but when you have Matt and Will messing with the equilibrium of this trailer, right. you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna stay back a little. Yeah. Porcelain? What is my bum experiencing right now? <laughs> That's crazy. Porcelain. It's like they knew you were going to review this. Will, this this is really tight and small. Uh-huh. But here's what I'm going to do. The fact that there is no sink in here. Don't try to cram that stuff in here. Right. There's a sink right there. And the fact that it's porcelain, this is a prime pooping position. Bing! <laughs> Very nice. And like... It's definitely borderline, like I might right. not have passed it or whatever. Right. Like here's another thing. If they would have put the actual curtain, it wouldn't have been. Right. But because there is, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of elbow. Room. I am thoroughly impressed with the dynamics and what they did here and Good job. Deserves Winnebago. a little award there. And we're in a Jayco, we're not in Winnebago. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Winnebago puts plastic toys. I know. I'm at Jayco. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys for seeing everybody so much for watching. Now, again, before everybody leaves, we're going to give you three things we loved about these. Not just this one, but all of them. And three things we didn't like about them. Will, what do we do first? Three things we like? Yes. Okay. First thing, I have to give props to the bathroom. Yeah. Again, for everything I just said, a porcelain toilet and don't try to put a sink in, especially when the unit's already so small. Right. The sink is literally right there. And and again, the shower tub was actually decent. I thought it would have failed miserably, but it only failed by yeah. a few inches. Yep, exactly. So that's number one. Number two? I'm going to say, and I, I'm kind of going back to all of them. Yep. I feel like they always try to get some good pantry storage space in, and most of them. The fact of how small they, these are. And they still got good pantry here, they got that, and a lot of them had at least a little bit of pantry space. Yes, so, yes. I like that. Definitely, definitely number two. Number three, well, I'm going to have to say, they did the certain mattress. What else did they do that was really nice? Oh, the Goodyear Endurance yeah. tires. Yeah. The fact that, like, I know that's like Jayco's thing. But like a lot of times manufacturers, they'll do their things right. from like this price point up. Right. So they still do it. I mean, to be honest with you, and this is gonna sound weird, Serta in Goodyear is probably making just as much profit as Jayco's making making this unit. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the fact that they still went with that is kind of cool. Yeah. So that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about these trailers. Okay. Um. Oh, I just blanked out on my dislikes. Did you? What's your dislike? Oh, no, I have the first dislike. Okay. These dang doors. Yeah, that was going to be mine. They're so narrow. What the heck's up with this? Right. I've never seen anybody do that. That is so unique, weird, and different. 
And that's just so strange to me. Yeah, exactly. I've never seen anybody do this. I mean, even look at this. I'm about to hit my head. It's like a miniature RV. Right. By the way, speaking of hitting your head, Will, you do have good height in here. In here, yeah, I do. Cool. So that's one dislike. What's another dislike? That's what I was going to say. So give well, then me a minute. Talk about the convection oven. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with no oven, honestly, right. 100%. Right. But I don't like that they didn't do a convection oven. Right, they should have. Here. Yeah, it, it would have fit in the same spot. Yep. Again, no ovens, no problem. But to exactly. not have the convection oven is is a little bit of a pain. Um, So that's two. And then, what's another dislike? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 I got another dislike. Okay. Whoops. I got two more dislikes. Okay. That. Another dislike is how do you have these side cameras? And no but, backup camera. Right. That right. makes zero sense. Right. I'd much rather have the backup camera For sure. than the side cameras. For sure. And then another dislike is going to be, I remembered all of them. The raised up slide -outs. Oh yeah. Will and I, you guys saw from the Winnebago the other day, we don't like that. We're not a fan of that. And um, yeah. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's all the J-Flight SLXs. Again, if you guys have any questions about any of these, please call, text, send us an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you guys want to see pricing on any of these SLXs, I have a link down below that will take you to General RV that will show you every floor plan that we have. Will, is there anything you'd like to say? Of course. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, let us know what you thought of this setup. Do you like when we have smaller units for us to hit them all in one video? Yeah. Or would you prefer one, you know, one video per unit? Um, also, let us know down in the comments below. Let us know what you think of them overall. Yep. Uh, give us three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And, Will, we'll see you next time.